The International Space Station is nearing the end of its remarkable odyssey, and the race to develop a replacement is heating up. Among the leading contenders, SpaceX is presenting a bold and innovative proposal to repurpose its iconic Starship spacecraft into a new extraordinary space station. How innovative is this idea? Join us on today's episode of NR Studio as we explore the answer. As previously mentioned, the International Space Station, a key institution in space research for the past 24 years, is nearing its retirement. In such a scenario, China's Tiangong Station could potentially serve independently as the sole operational space station, a possible obstacle for the United States in the current space race. To alleviate these concerns, NASA is diligently searching for a replacement for the International Space Station. Through the use of unfunded Space Act agreements and commercial space capabilities collaboration initiatives, NASA has formed partnerships with seven American companies to meet upcoming commercial and government requirements, including the development of a next-generation space station. The companies selected for the CCSC2 initiative include Blue Origin, Northrop Grumman Systems Corporation, Sierra Space, Special Aerospace Services, Think Orbital, Vast Space, and most notably SpaceX. Unlike other competitors who are attempting to build stations from scratch, SpaceX is taking a bold and innovative approach by leveraging its Starship spacecraft as the foundation for a new space station. Empowered by its expansive ecosystem, including Super Heavy, Dragon, and Starlink, Starship is poised to serve as a multi-purpose hub in low Earth orbit, expertly managing crew and cargo transportation, communications, and ground operations. While unconventional, this concept is not altogether novel. Historically, there have been suggestions to convert elements such as external fuel tanks into space stations. A meticulous analysis reveals that Starship presents several pivotal advantages, positioning it as a highly promising contender for this transformative endeavor. To begin, let us consider the material. Although Starship was not explicitly engineered to serve as a space station, its stainless steel architecture provides significant advantages. Stainless steel exhibits remarkable durability and is resistant to corrosion, allowing it to endure the severe conditions of outer space, including extreme temperatures and impacts from micrometeorites. This resilience not only safeguards the spacecraft's integrity throughout its journey in space, but also establishes it as an exemplary foundation for a sustainable long-term space station. Moreover, stainless steel exhibits a comparatively straightforward maintenance and repair process in relation to alternative materials employed in space infrastructure. Secondly, and in this particular case, size indeed holds significance. Which starship stands out in this regard? Standing at 50 meters tall with a diameter of 9 meters, its interior volume exceeds that of the International Space Station, making Starship a truly monumental craft. The forthcoming Starship 5-3 model, towering at an impressive 70 meters, is poised to further enhance its capacity. Originally conceived to transport 100 passengers on extended interplanetary journeys, Starship is exceptionally well-equipped to provide living quarters, workspaces, storage, and the necessary scientific apparatus for a space station. An additional significant benefit is the potential for reusability. Should it be tailored for operational deployment as a station, Starship's capacity for returning to Earth for refurbishment could significantly lower expenses in the long run. This principle of reusability is in harmony with SpaceX's overarching objective to enhance the cost-effectiveness and sustainability of space exploration. NASA and SpaceX conceptualize a space station comprised of a network of interconnected starships. This concept entails the strategic placement of numerous starships in a circular formation, thereby establishing a rotating wheel station. By rotating around its axis, the station would produce artificial gravity via centrifugal force. When accurately calibrated, this system has the potential to replicate Earth's gravitational forces, effectively mitigating the health issues associated with prolonged exposure to microgravity. Notwithstanding its revolutionary features, the Starship Space Station would remain exceptionally economical. Following 24 years of service, the International Space Station has incurred expenditures nearing $150 billion. In contrast, Musk has projected that the eventual cost of each Starship could be as low as $20 million. The integration of 50 starships could potentially result in the total expenditure for a large-scale space station being as minimal as $1 billion, a mere fraction of the cost associated with the International Space Station. With its significant capacity and cost-effectiveness, 
Such a facility has the potential to revolutionize commercial space tourism. Nonetheless, converting Starship into a fully operational space station entails considerable technical challenges. The primary concern lies in the fact that a significant segment of Starship's infrastructure, including its engines and propellant tanks, would be rendered ineffective for station applications. These components, which constitute nearly half of the spacecraft, impose constraints on the available living and working space. Although certain individuals have suggested converting the methane storage chamber into supplementary interior space, such alterations would necessitate significant structural modifications in orbit, thereby presenting considerable logistical and engineering challenges. Connectivity represents a pivotal concern. Conventional space stations exhibit a plethora of external components, notably solar panels for energy generation and docking ports for logistical resupply operations. The Starship, engineered with an emphasis on aerodynamic principles, presently does not incorporate these attributes. Incorporating them would require substantial modifications to the design, which could in turn compromise the rocket's efficiency. Ultimately, for Starship to function as a sustainable orbital outpost, it would require enhancements to facilitate enduring habitation, scientific inquiry, and routine resupply missions. The existing design is tailored for exploration and transportation purposes, rather than for maintaining a prolonged presence in orbit. Undoubtedly, the potential of the Starship space station is apparent, despite it not yet having materialized. Through ongoing advancements, SpaceX has the potential to revolutionize our understanding of space habitation. At present, Starship is more appropriately aligned with its primary objective of interplanetary exploration and transportation. Nonetheless, with SpaceX relentlessly advancing the frontiers of space technology, the potential to evolve Starship into an extraordinary space station presents an intriguing prospect. With the endorsement of NASA and SpaceX's demonstrated capability to accomplish the extraordinary, the aspirational vision of a next-generation space station may ultimately be realized. In the interim, the global audience observes with keen interest as SpaceX forges ahead with its audacious vision for the future of space exploration. SpaceX is collaborating with a prospective partner to develop what is anticipated to be the next iteration of the International Space Station. VAST, a privately owned aerospace enterprise headquartered in Long Beach, California, is positioning itself as a formidable contender in the pursuit of a successor to the aging International Space Station. Within NASA's second collaborative initiative for commercial space endeavors, VAST is spearheading the advancement of two ambitious space station projects, Haven 1 and Haven 2. Haven 1 marks the inaugural endeavor in this series, currently under development, designed to function as both an opulent space station and a hub for scientific inquiry. Planned for launch no sooner than August 2025 atop a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, Haven 1 is set to undertake its inaugural mission, VAST-1, which will transport a crew of four astronauts aboard a Crew Dragon spacecraft for a 30-day mission. While Haven 1 will depend on the Crew Dragon's life support systems for prolonged missions, it is not engineered for sustained self-sufficiency. This encompasses its capability to operate independently over extended durations. Nonetheless, Haven 1 merely represents the initial step. VAST harbors ambitious aspirations, including the creation of Haven 2, a more expansive and sophisticated station poised to potentially succeed the ISS. Haven 2 will feature the Haven 2 Lab, an advanced facility specifically engineered for microgravity research and in-space manufacturing. The station is anticipated to be substantially larger than Haven 1 and is scheduled to be deployed in stages, with the inaugural module expected to be launched as early as 2028 aboard a Falcon Heavy rocket. This inaugural module will extend by an additional 5 meters and will offer twice the usable volume of Haven 1, along with docking ports at both extremities to facilitate future expansions. In contrast to the ISS, Haven 2 will emphasize the well-being of astronauts as a fundamental aspect alongside its scientific research endeavors. The station will offer exclusive living quarters and workspaces, supplemented by contemporary amenities such as Starlink connectivity and two expansive domed windows designed for optimal Earth observation, a significant allure for space tourists. Beyond prioritizing crew comfort, Haven 2 will provide an array of scientific facilities and payloads with supplementary modules anticipated for launch between 2029 and 2030. Every module will feature autonomous propulsion, self-sufficient life support, and autonomous docking systems, thereby guaranteeing adaptability and dependability for extended missions. 
In 2030, VAST intends to unveil a core module featuring a diameter of 7 meters. This module will encompass critical systems, including an airlock for extravehicular activities, EVAs, docking ports, and a robotic arm. Upon becoming operational, the core module will function as the primary nucleus of the station, facilitating future expansion and the integration of an additional four modules by 2031 and 2032. At this point, Haven 2 is poised to surpass the International Space Station in both size and functionality, setting a new benchmark for space stations. VAST's unique strength lies in its ability to appeal to individuals and space enthusiasts. Unlike government-sponsored space stations, Haven 2 has the potential to serve as a venue for luxury space vacations and exclusive private missions. VAST seeks to capitalize on the growing space tourism market by providing a more accessible and commercially viable alternative to conventional research-centric stations like the ISS. To realize this vision, VAST is relying heavily on its collaboration with SpaceX. SpaceX's Falcon 9 is intended for the launch of Haven 1, while Falcon Heavy will be tasked with transporting the more substantial Haven 2 module. In the future, VAST intends to utilize SpaceX's Starship for launches of its core module. Additionally, SpaceX's Starlink connectivity will be seamlessly integrated into both stations, ensuring reliable communications and data transfer for crew and research activities. SpaceX's established technology and cost-effective solutions make it a natural partner for VAST's ambitious initiative. VAST CEO Max Hout has underlined the importance of their partnership with SpaceX, stating, We aim to foster as close a collaboration as they allow. The relationship is beneficial to both parties involved. VAST leverages SpaceX's established expertise and capabilities, while SpaceX identifies opportunities to incorporate its own space station concepts into the VAST initiative. Fortifying is a forward-thinking strategy aimed at sustainable habitation in space. The race to replace the International Space Station is fierce, as multiple private companies vie for dominance in the field of space exploration. While the outcome is yet to be determined, it is clear that the upcoming space stations, specifically VAST's Haven 1 and 2, will provide a new experience unlike any other. By integrating commercial viability, cutting-edge technology, and sustainable practices, these stations have the potential to revolutionize the space exploration landscape, increasing accessibility to space like never before. That's it for today's episode. See you in the next episode.